Hi Dresser Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw Ariel in her Kiss the Girl blue dress. So let's get started. To draw cute Ariel, let's first start by drawing her eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a circle. And I'm going to come right next to it, say about that wide apart, and draw another circle. There. So now I have my two circles in. I'm going to come in here and make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles for highlights inside, and a curved line at the bottom, and shade in the top. and lines at the bottom, and same thing over here. So if you're more comfortable drawing the face shape first, like the bottom of a U, and then putting in the eyes, uh, definitely do that. Just trying this new way to draw the eyes first. Uh, maybe it might be a little bit easier. So just um, play around with it and see which one you like better, which way you like better. So lines at the bottom, just like the other side. From there, we're gonna to come to the sides right here and we're just gonna spruce these eyes up with some lashes. So just two simple curves on the side. Then let's come to the top, up right by here. And we're just gonna draw a soft curve over the eye. And same thing right across, right over the eye, just a soft curve. There. And then let's come in between the eyes, say about right here. We're just going to go ahead and draw a sweet smile. Just curve and slightly go upwards and then cap it off. <laughs> there. Okay, so then now that we have the, um, this, um, the eyes in, let's go ahead and draw the face. So like usual, we're just going to come to the side real close to the eye and about right here, we're going to start to draw a curve for the bottom of a U. So same thing on this side, about right here. And then we're going to come straight down let's say about right here I'll just give myself a point about right there so I know where I'm going and I'm going to draw this curve to finish up her face there, right in the center and then we go right back up so like I said just play around with it see if you like to draw the face first or the eyes first whichever is easiest Okay, so then now that we have that in, let's go ahead. We're going to frame her face with her hair. So her hair parts on the side. So I'll say about right here. I'll just give myself a point and I'm just going to draw a curve. It comes down by right here to the side and I'll just finish up the face area. And then on this side, we're just going to go all the way across for her signature hairstyle, her bangs. And then we're just going to go all the way back to about right there. So whatever space you have left, then just go ahead and finish it off. Let me bring it down a little bit more, and then go ahead and finish off her face there. So then let's see here, we're gonna part her hair. So let's go up at a curve about right there. And then in this area, we're going to start to part. We're gonna go up this way and then down this way. So let's work on this side. We're gonna bring this curve down to about right here. And then in this area, I'm just gonna go ahead and tuck in a curve for her ear. So on this side, uh, we're gonna start on this side. I'm just gonna draw her bangs. I'm gonna go out to about right here. And then draw another curve coming in. And I'll come back here. Let's go back and forth. Makes it a little bit easier. So we're gonna bring this curve up for the top of her head. Come down. And then let's see here, I can bring this up a little bit more about right here and bring it in and then whatever space you have left. So we just want this part to kind of pop out a little bit. Then let's bring this curve down all the way back to about right here. And then we're going to draw this other curve and just kind of taper it in. And just come back in here and adjust your curve. There. So we have her signature hairstyle in. Put this out a little bit more. Then on, on this side, just like the other side, I'm going to come right here and just tuck in a curve for her ear as well. 
And then let's um, draw her hair a little bit later. We'll finish that. Let's finish her body first. But before I do that, let's come back up here. And I'm just going to draw this big blue bow that she has. So we're just going to exaggerate it and make it nice and big. And here as well. So we're just going to pop it up and bring it down. From there, let's go ahead and draw her body. So let's come to the center and give her a little neck right here in the center. And I'm going to bring it down, round it off for her shoulders. And same thing here, round it off for her shoulders. So I usually like to make the body, the shoulders about the same width as the head. So just so you know, um, makes it a little bit easier to draw how far to bring out the shoulders. So then let's kind of find like her armpit area. Let's just say here and here, just give myself a point. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and draw a slight angle line in. Just to give her a nice um, waist on her bodice. I'll bring it down a little bit more. Okay, so then from there, I'm going to come back up here and give her a neckline. And then in this area where I started, um, I'm going to go up and we're going to draw her bodice shape right here. So we're going to go up about right here, come towards the center, go up again and down, just like the other side. So this nice little black part in her dress. And then right here, we're just going to go ahead and connect it towards the center once again a curve and then another curve. Then from there, we're going to pop out her skirt. We're going to go out nice and wide and full there. So let's bring this down. And we're just going to go back and forth, back and forth to see how far you want to bring your dress down. And let's keep going wider. I'll say about right here. I'll stop and same thing over here. And wider and just kind of flare it out a tiny bit. And so now that we're about the same level on both sides, I'm going to go ahead and connect it with some curves. So I just wobble maybe three big curves, the center one being the lowest and then going right back up. There. And then since we're down here, let's draw her feet. So I'm kind of having them pointed towards um, each other. So I'll say about right here. We'll start with one here, like her little ankle. And then we're going to come down and curve in. Then right here, we're going to come in and then give her a little heel and connect. There, just a nice little most simple way to draw her feet. And then right here, we're just going to go ahead and just draw a curve. There. So same thing over here. We just kind of want to make sure we're about center on both feet. So about here. Same thing, just like the other side. Just curve. Now you have something to follow. It's a little bit easier. And once again, come in. We're going to come out for the heel. And connect. There. And then once again, just go up with a curve for her foot, for her shoe, I mean. Okay, so then now that we have her feet in, let's come back and we're going to draw her arms. So I'm going to have them to her side and her sleeves are a little bit poofy. So let's come down and we're just going to use this right here and just draw a curve. Makes it a lot easier. And then we're going to come down, bring it out a little bit. We want her hands to end about right here. So I'll poof this out a little bit and then tuck it in. Then give her a little cuff right here and then we're just going to draw a curve for her hands. And then you can add two little curves right here for some details. And let's come back up here and lightly I'm just going to draw a curve. So let's do the same thing on this side. Just draw a curve right here. It goes into the skirt. And once again, we're going to poof this out, come down. So I just want to end about the same area. So I'm just going to drag a point across so I know where I'm going. And I'm going to poof this out once again. And then bring it into my point. Then a little cuff and the hands, just like the other side. And then two little curves. And then right here, just lightly draw a curve. 
So now that we're done with her dress, let's finally draw her hair. So let's come back to right here next to the ear and I'm going to bring down a curve. I'm gonna flare it out a little bit. Bring it nice and low, so say long hair. Give it a little strand and then tuck it in. So same thing here. Just come in a little bit, come out, give it another little strand and then tuck it in. And let's add a little tail for our bow. So I'm just gonna come right here, just a little indication. And same thing here, really big bow, right? <laughs> it's okay to exaggerate it, it's a cartoon there. And let's see, oh, and then some details on her skirt. You can do this when you're coloring. So it's not so harsh black line, but I just want to draw some creases so we know that there's some folds in her skirt. So they're all done. I really hope you love how Ariel here turned out in her Kiss to Girl blue dress and that I helped you draw her fun and easy. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it and I helped you out today, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.